So here we have a form we've been working on. However, we want to make a couple of small modifications to it. For example, we'd like to try to put an icon with one of our buttons. So what we're going to do is switch back to our text editor, and I'm going to choose the More Info button. To add an icon to a button, we're going to need to pass in some parameters. As normal, we're going to use a JavaScript object to pass in information. What we'll need to do is add icons as a property, colon, we can actually add up to two different icons, a primary and a secondary. So we're going to use braces once more. We have ui-icon-info. After our icon is going to have a comma. And we're going to specify text. And at text, you can choose this to be either true, so you see the text, or false. By default, it's true. So this is redundant, but I just want to show you real quick. Go back into our browser, reload, and you notice I have a little info icon right here, and it changes when the mouse goes over it. If inside my text editor I only want to use an icon, I didn't want text, I can simply change this to false. Go back into my example and reload it, and you notice I have an icon for a button with no text whatsoever. Now if I roll over it, I still see a little tooltip that tells us what we have. So that is beneficial, but I want to make sure I only use an icon only if the meaning from the icon is truly clear to the end user. If it's not, I don't want to rely on a person using a tooltip to figure it out. So I want to leave text to make it beneficial for them. If you found this video tutorial helpful, please like and share it with others. If you want to keep up with other videos that are coming out, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. That way you can get the most up-to-date information.